What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded in like a month and uh, there's honestly no excuse for that. I just got kind of lazy and kept putting it off. I was uploading like every two weeks. I was doing good and then uh, I just, I don't know, I kind of lost motivation. But today's video is just going to be another pickups video. I know these are getting kind of like repetitive and I've done like, I think this is my third time doing this, but I bought a lot of new clothes over the past month and a half that I haven't posted and I just wanted to show you guys. I think in my next couple of videos, I'm going to switch things up and try to do something different. I'm just gonna start out with t-shirts. This first t-shirt is a vintage tee that I bought while I was in Miami. I went there for spring break uh, two weeks ago and I went to round two vintage, which if you guys don't know, that's Sean Witherspoon's store. There's one in like LA, New York, Chicago, South Beach, Miami. He has a bunch of stores with some really cool vintage tees. Most of their prices are kind of high, but I found this one, uh, it was only 40. So uh, I figured why not? I don't have any gray t-shirts, I don't think, which is kind of strange, but Saw this one and I liked it. It's supposed to be kind of funny. It says property of Alcatraz Penitentiary swim team, which is kind of like, I guess supposed to be funny because like you had to swim to escape the island. Just a pretty simple t-shirt. I just really like the font this is in. And um, but yeah, this will be just a really good t-shirt to wear this spring and summer. I'll get a lot of wear out of it. The next t-shirt is this brown number nine tee. Uh, I don't know exactly what this shirt's called, but it's just this th really thin material, it's super soft, and it just has this beige graphic on the front. I'm not even sure what this is. I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool, so I bought it. It wasn't that expensive. One thing I will say is that number nine fits really small. I got a size three, which apparently equates to a large, and normally a medium, so I figured it would fit. And it's still pretty small, like it, it sits right on my waist. If it was any smaller, I'd probably sell it. This shirt has a really wide neck, which I'm normally not a fan of, but I honestly don't mind it. But nonetheless, a really good t-shirt. This next t-shirt's a striped vintage Stussy t-shirt. My shirt, vintage Stussy. Fits really wide and boxy. It's almost too short on me, so I normally just wear like a long sleeve underneath it. It just has the classic Stussy logo on the chest right here. It's kind of cracked and faded out. It is single stitch, so it, it has to be a pretty old t-shirt, but the back's just blank. It's tagged in extra large, but I guess it just shrunk up over the years, so it's pretty small now, but I still get a lot of wear out of it. All right, moving on, I just had this pair of olive green cargo shorts. These kind of give me like some dad hiking vibes. I don't know, they look kind of weird, but like on body, I think they look a lot better. I got these in a trade for my friend. We just like traded some stuff back and forth. He had these and I was like, honestly, I could see these working out. They're just like regular cargo shorts pockets on the back and then like these front pockets have like little ropes that i guess you could like hang stuff from they're just super faded out i think it's a cool look most people probably wouldn't like these but i'm a fan i like them all right next we have a pair of denim from number nine it's just this like really faded out gray it's a pretty straight fit throughout like there's really there's no taper or anything like that but it just has like the signature number nine stitching that starts on the back as you can see right here and just comes all the way around the front and just goes down the side i think that's a really cool touch one thing i will say about these the rise is really high like so there's just not a lot of room in this area which is kind of uncomfortable sometimes this is probably my tightest fitting pair of pants i have I'm kind of trying something new with these the back on the knees has like little lines that go across i don't have any gray jeans so Really glad I got these. Recently, I've really been looking into brands like Number 9, Undercover, Capital, like a lot of Japanese designers. They just have some really cool stuff. The next pair of pants is these double knee Carhartt cargo pants. They're pretty simple. These are just a black pair, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but starting right here, there's two layers of pants all the way down. Hence why they're called the double knee. Then there's just these cargo pockets on the side. I've seen a lot of people do like distressing and like paint splatter on these. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that to mine. I did get a size 32, which are too long. So I just had to cut off the bottom hem completely. I kind of distressed it a little bit. It's a cool touch. Yeah, these are just a really good pair of thick, long lasting, durable cargo pants that you can't go wrong with. You can find these on like eBay for 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't know, probably even cheaper than that if you looked hard enough. But yeah, I also got these in that trade with my friend and um, I'm really happy with them. All right, the last two items are both jackets. Uh, this one is a like vintage varsity jacket that I found at um, Raleigh Vintage, which is like near where I live. So I just go there a lot to find vintage stuff like jackets and t-shirts. It's just like this green, forest green, I guess you would say. It just has like a big H right here stitched in. It's kind of like dirty. I don't know if you can tell. I should probably like clean that, but there's a bunch of pins on it. And then there's two stars down here. The back's just blank, which I wish 
had like a graphic on it or something but it has like leather piping on both of the shoulders and then just like white accents throughout the, like on the collars and sleeves i don't know if you guys have seen it or not but golf lafleur and uh lacoste collabed i think last year they made a varsity jacket in the same colorway as this i really wanted it but they go for like 500 dollars, and i was like yeah i'm never gonna have that i'm not spending that much money on a varsity jacket but just a really clean look i posted a picture of this on my instagram if you guys follow me you've probably seen that but yeah i really like this jacket i do not plan on selling it anytime soon the last item for this video it was just this vintage military bomber i found this at my local army surplus store they had like a bunch of them they're like 30 bucks i think 25 30 bucks they just have uh two pockets on the front and then a zipper one of the coolest parts about this is there's a liner that zips in and out so if it gets too hot you can zip the liner out and it just becomes like this kind of like a rain jacket just like a thin shell and then also there's like a fur collar that you can remove so you can pretty much turn this jacket from like a winter jacket into like a spring summer jacket which i really like it's a very versatile piece goes with a ton of stuff been wearing it a lot recently especially when it rains outside even though it doesn't have a hood it's still good for when it rains so i just realized i completely forgot to show you guys these two shoes i bought recently the first one is the sui cook moto you guys have probably seen these before they're just like a really chunky sandal this pair is actually a collaboration between sui cook and beams which is like a store in japan really love these shoes i've been wearing them like every day pretty much honestly they have fur on the inside which i don't know how i feel about that i kind of wanted the pair without it but i just have these two really big straps that go across the top of the shoe and uh, they're just honestly super comfortable like you can just slip them on anywhere any day of the week and just go before i bought these i thought they were gonna be like really cheap but like the bottom is really sturdy it's like a really thick sole it holds up very well it has like a little like pad for your heel right there and then you can see like where your toes go obviously and they also have a vibram sole you can probably see the little vibram logo right there but uh yeah i really like these people have been flaming me for wearing them but i love them so also i got these the other day off of the uh nike sneakers app these are the sakai i think they're like the uh lv waffle or something i honestly don't know what they're called but it's like a really unique shoe they have two soles two swooshes two sets of laces two tongs it's like double everything and then this thing hangs off the back really far which is kind of obnoxious if that wasn't there i might would keep these i'm probably just going to sell them though because there's a lot of other low top black runners that i'd rather have than these i'm not going to give you guys a full review on these because i don't even like them that much but the colors they did previously i think they did like a green colorway a red blue and yellow colorway and then like a i don't know what the third one was they released a white pair alongside these which were a lot better in my opinion but these are the ones i got so i don't know i'll probably end up selling them and just getting a pair of um another pair of black low top shoes but yeah i just wanted to mention these two pairs of shoes because i completely forgot to put them in the video but yeah i know today's video was kind of short and um i apologize for that but i'm gonna try to start uploading every two weeks again so if you haven't already please subscribe i would greatly appreciate that i think we're at like almost 80 now so I'm trying to hit 100 before this month's over if that's possible maybe maybe not turn on post notifications leave a comment like all that stuff thank you guys for watching peace